been today? I've had, I've had the kid to get through. Look. Corbin's tired because we were up at 3, 4 o'clock. He's got a bit of a nasty cough. Um, so I've had, a, I've, had a, I've had a broken sleep night, haven't I, Corbin? And Corbin's like now decided he's in the car, he's chilled out. So Alan's trying to have a little kid. I've not got that luxury. Charlie is on her iPad. Uh, Sue's been to the gym with Alana. I've uh, started to edit it. Well, they're not they're not very good at training on their own, but never mind. They're showing Willie. Um, you'll see on the video. It's a long drawn out of her. They, they're doubling up exercises and forms a bit hit and miss. And anyway, this is why. We went. This is we went. Yeah. This is why I said to people, film it. Just show us what you what you've done, so I can you know, go through it with you and just say you did that a bit wrong. But then I know where to address any issues you have with uh, movement, positioning, and you know, form. So uh, anyway, that's we've got to review that. So the computer's now uh, processing all that. Take some time, believe you me. Uh, as Rich Piano will fucking tell you. That won't swear it. Can't swear yet. Not got my, not got my watershed's not up yet. Got the kiddie winkies with me, haven't they? Can't have you calling anybody uh, um, a lip read that's pretty good. Um, yeah, but they've got the Kit Kats, they've got the How many times have you got gym in a week? About 5, 10, 15. We've got lots of times to the gym when they're off or after school. Uh, that's where we're going now. We're going, um, where are we going? David Lloyd. David Lloyd. We're going to a posh gym. Posh. Posh gym. You, need, you actually have a code to get in the car park here, yeah. kids. It's not, it's not, it's not for the... I'll show you some of the cars I've parked. I, don't, I haven't been yet, but I know perfectly well what some of the cars parked outside. It's a black car with wheels on. There you go. Yeah, but I'll show it. And they, have, they even have a they even have a guy washing your cars in the car park. Oh, it's out, that outside eating swimming pool, indoor eating swimming pool, steam room, decor. We got, we got three tennis courts. Three tennis courts, badminton, all that. Yeah, jungle gym inside. Yeah. We got kids play areas with with computers. You know. We got kids clubs. Kids clubs. State of the art cardio equipment like you've never seen. You know, I've been in. I feel a bit scruffy going in there. Uh, anyway, we're, we're going to drop these up because we've got a party. Well, they, I believe they've got a party. They don't know. They're not. They're not. They're, they're like me. He does. They're like me. They don't give a shit. But anyway, we're just passing by uh, the gym. There's the gym. 10.99. Just doing it all up. It's a bit steamy in this this car. Because, because do you know why? Because it's a, it's a nice one, but she don't like the windows down because it's cold, oh, and I she like don't and, and she don't like the wind the the heating on because it's too hot. And we get steamy windows. You, you know, men men watching, you'll know all this, won't you? You'll you, you'll understand. You know. Excuse me, I like the window open. You don't because it gets cold. Anyway, I like non-steamy windows, but if any men are watching this who have a car and know how to sort steamy windows out, I'll not create them, but know to use these dials. Because she's not got a bloody clip. I'm not playing with them. But anyway, you having a kip, son? He's having a kip. I ain't got a dog in my car. Anyway, we're back in a bit. We're on the motorway, look. It's a bit bright. And that's the other thing. I hope this rain keeps on. 
because none of you will be able to get in the beer garden. Gunnar, you'll be sat inside watching bloody Sky Sports, some bloody cricket, football, rugby crap, and having a pint. Get to the gym, I've already had a uh, witty on the witty asking me. You know, you know, people might know witty, but he, he, he texts me his mind, he says, Is the gym open today? And I said, Well, yeah. And it's closed tomorrow, Bank Holiday Monday. I said, and I'm thinking, well, if you'd have turned up on Friday and seen the notice, he says uh, he's going to uh, do some cardio this morning. So we're just going to wait and see if actually Witty does have some cardio. Uh, so Bobby, Bobby wasn't in pure, apparently. So there's another one missing. They come up with excuses, you see. I'll get there at dinner time. Well, it's not early morning cardio at dinner time, I'm afraid. Anyway, more waffling. It's too bright for me, can't see. Bye for now. We're here at David Lloyd's. Got a nice bag, lads. She'll be at the door, she's there. Nanu, we need to put these in the car. You walk up, son. Yeah, the Easter bunny came. What, what did it do on the floor? It what on the floor? It pooed all the Maltesers out, didn't it? It had chocolate poo. <laughs> oh, we're putting these in the car. Where's he gone? He's just woke up, he's in a... It's posh, this gym. What posh gym did you just say? The posh gym. Oh, I have a training session. TGI Fridays next to their posture. Look, they've got that little setting out and everything. It's got a downside here. It's got bloody big heli. Big heli, heli, big heli planes. Right. Don't take them out easy, no. Right. About to get the cord to get out of the car park. See so roll two, three. Changes every day, so Look at bloody big bloody Brian O. No posh cars in this morning for the race, they're all over the show. Mooks everywhere. Porsches, look, there's a nice blue bottle. Porsches there, there's all kinds of cars here. There's going to be a few Ferraris in them, Bentleys, and a lot of private registration plates. Zero, two, three. today because it kind of like brought me into a little, little world so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start up some uh, some more video in.
first of all is the, the swearing bans now off because there's no kids in the car. There we go now. So there's nothing fucking open. Why is it on a fucking Easter for us that are very not fucking religious? Which I think about fucking 99.999% of fucking England's not religious. Um, everything's fucking shut. So we can't do fuck all. You know, we've seen a lot of fucking joggers out and fucking ramblers. A lot of fucking jogger here though. That's colourful. She's more scared. She's going for it. She's probably scoffed to a lot of fucking chocolate Easter egg this morning. Then fuck it, I'll go for a run now. But anyway, we're waffling. There's fuck all to do. Everything's shut. Every place we've been past has been shut down. It's like fucking desert. Um, it's ten to one. I'm fucking bored. You know what's gonna happen, don't you? Jim. I'm gonna end up with a fucking Jimmy here on my fucking bike. Um, so, I don't know. Is there anything fucking old about it? We're on Ashton Road here, people. Close in Oldham. Is there anything fucking in Oldham open? No, it's always in Unison. Always in Unison in Failsworth. Yeah. You know, she's desperate now because it's either fucking fine somewhere or oh, fucking we're going on a bike for an hour. You know, a bike for an hour with me is fucking fun. Passes the time, gets a sweat on. back to when we figure something to fucking do because it's not like the right right weather we're fucking walking in is it we'll carry on the fucking roads are empty we're going to turn off that past Ashton um, going past Alexander Park but we're going to carry on up, up uh, Ashton Road here hey we're all on the ball here keeping you in touch with some other guy jogging there very nice or else he's just running for police he's all in black fucking hoodie pants on Keep you up to date. The barber required there. Can't see, got a steamy window. So everything's shut. See what we've got open here. Two Asian pound lands. Kebab shops open. We're fucking in here. Pet shops open. Hey, fucking fish and chip shops open. Funny that, isn't it? All, all, all fucking all unhealthy shit. Fucking them open. What have we got? Oh, Asian wine. Australian wines is open. Charcoal grills open. Oh, but anyway, waffle more. I'll speak to you in a bit. Sue so, says so, so, there's a sex shop open. So we'll have a quick look. The sex shop's open. Might be open. We could all go in there, couldn't we, and view the products. We could do some fucking some some uh, product research. Try a few bullets. Huh? Try a few bullets. What's a bullet? That fucking threw you in it, see? Who was there? Empty car park. Empty car park. All the shops are shut. Yeah, there's a few. There's some cars in the car park there. There weren't many people in this morning, apparently. Was there? They fell down a bit. And I don't know where now. There were more than seven in. More than seven? It was fucking good that a weekend. Twenty in, probably. Twenty in at about ten o'clock. Wow, you're making it, you're impressing me now, people of Oldham. You're impressing me. How are the parks there? I think there's more in the, uh, more, there were probably more joggers in there this morning than there were in Bloody Pewe. It's quite a, quite a lot of uh, park joggers, I like to call them. You know, they get a lot, quite a few. Car park's normally full. That's <laughs> under park early morning. Six is eight kilos, that is. They're not, not, not six and eight hundred pounds. There are a couple of bench guys in doing six and eight kilo dumbbells. Nothing impressive. I'll take it to a proper gym. Back in five well, it's the five o'clock, folks. Uh, what a fucking boring fucking Easter Sunday this has been. All the fucking shops are shut. So, we've watched uh, Dead, Dead, Deadpool. What a bleeding load of shit that is. Alright, but a bit too, a bit too comical for my liking. Plenty of blood in it though, but yeah, it's different. 
So we're on uh, we're on uh, Sunday lunch now. Sunday Sunday tea. It's uh, this time. We're on uh, chicken and rice. Watching fucking shit box fucking TV about fucking and there's nothing. On. There's fuck all on telly. So who's on fucking patty and fucking rice cakes? Hey, we're living the fucking life here. <laughs> fucking living the life. You lot are out fucking doing God knows fucking what. Full fucking. Look at that, eh? Well, that the fuckers get fat. I'm fucking starving hungry, I'm eating that shit. I'm watching fucking shitty cartoon fucking Charlie Brown. I'm going to fucking gym in a minute to get some fucking excitement in my life. Fuck the fuck are you? Fucking get some fucking tracksuit. Fuck you, I'm fucking gyro. Anyway, bye. Bye, Eck. We're off to gym again. Fucking hell. I'm excited these fucking Easters. And fucking weather and what bastard doing. We've just, uh, what's up? Well, it's true, isn't it? It's, it's been pissing down all afternoon. It's still wet through outside, but we've got this bright light in the sky. Sunny, yeah. It makes you want to go and get a bloody picnic, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll live, we'll live until he's on the park and have a picnic. Shit all. The only that's open. Which is a good thing, really. Anyway. So we've got any fucking bikes, please? Oh, yeah. The free. Okay, then. It's time for this, I presume. No, there's some cruel fuckers in the world. You gotta watch these with me, you know. Take the piss, I'm waiting for the fucking machine to come online. Probably get that fucking wrong. No, I didn't play right. Get the message in. So it seems in here tonight. She's made it to bike. I was just saying, turn the fucking music down. Do you know whose job that is to turn the fucking music down? Because it's fucking loud, I can't hear fuck all. It's down to fucking me to turn the fucking music down. Ready? That's better. Because I'm an old fucker. I like to hear myself fucking think. All these have got fucking headphones on. Fuck knows why music's on. Those old fuckers, they don't fucking peer in on here. It's some old fucking beaty back fucking music. All fucking trance dance and fucking groovy lights. Every fucker's got fucking headphones on. Who the fuck is listening to music? Not me anyway. I don't even know it's going off half the time. Anyway, no regular faces in. The seat don't feel alright, I have to readjust the seat. Somebody's been on me fucking bike here, I don't feel right though. It's because I keep flipping and flopping between my bike at home and... Well, excuse me, that was a belt. I just had fit, I just had a... Uh, my fucking parrot? Shut the fuck up, woman. Fucking hell, you know what I'm trying to... They've just seen me eat chicken and fucking rice. It's just my old fucking brain's not working. Because I've been uh, messaging on the Facebook. People asking for diet plans. Diet plans. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna waffle on about diet now. And I'm gonna have to say it blunt. Not, not, not necessarily blunt, but right. Uh, people, especially of the Asian, uh, Indian, Pakistan, you're all eating shit. You eat the fucking roughest crap going. It's all fucking fried up, boiled up, fucking buttered up. You need to stop fucking eating shit because that's why you're all putting fucking meat on. Now it's, it starts 
with the family, the wife, the sister, the mother. They're the one who feeds you. Because sure as fucking damn it, you blokes aren't cooking. The best few years and blokes, I know what they're fucking like. That's why there's so many fucking takeaways, because you're all fucking eating out. But you've got to stop it. So I've been on with it. She's making fucking hand signals as if I'm saying something wrong. I'm not saying nothing wrong. What the fuck do I, do I give a shit about Alana and Rob? I'm trying to talk about diets, are you? Right, I'll, we'll go off this. She's women. She's still alive, but... Sorry, women. You have to take example off this. Right, we're up to curries and all this. Right. So I've had a, had a, a gentleman speaking to me. And he wants to lose some weight. And first of all, it starts at your diet. Not the exercise. The exercise is down the list a bit here. Let's just get the food right. So you need to know what you're eating. And generally, it's the wife who's cooking all the all the curries and putting all the ghee and the butter in there. And then she's uh, getting the wheat flour in and making all the naan breads and the, the roti. And then she's cooking the rice and putting butter in the rice and flavouring it with all kinds of shite. Well, it has to stop. You've got to stop all that. So, what I suggest is that you don't eat any curries no more. Now, that's going to that's gonna fuck your mums up because all your mums are feeding you. And your wives are feeding you. Look, turn speed up on this a bit more. Um, but it, it starts that's killing you, them feeding you. I've spoken to a lot of my Asian mates and, and they've all like twisted mums into sorting them out. A bit of nice boiled rice, a bit of chicken tikka, you know, shallow, just grilled fish. Masala fish is nice. I've had like, I like a masala fish, a of fish. You know, just plain boiled rice. So I've told him all this and I think he gets the gist. It's a bit difficult coming off the, the, the naan and the, the roti and all the spinach discs because yeah I've tried them and I like them. But coming off the lamb, the lamb is far too fatty. It's got too much fat in it lamb. And yeah it does taste nice lads but the thing is it goes straight on the hips. It goes straight on that belly. And it doesn't matter how much fucking cardio or exercise you do, you're not gonna lose it. You, you, you can't fire. You can't you can't win running a bill against the a uh, motorbike, you know, it's not going to work. So, you've got to just cut your diet straight out. Now, you'll make a big improvement within a couple of weeks by just cutting all the shit out. So the next question I got was, give me something good to have for breakfast. So that's a, a good start, really, because you're actually thinking about breakfast, because most of you don't eat leading breakfast. Now, it's a no-no. You've got to eat breakfast. You can't miss it, that's the rule, golden rule number one. Do never miss breakfast. Right. So now what can your breakfast be? If it's like me, who my body's now predisposed to to steak or fish, you know, or even chicken, I don't bother. Well, that's what I eat for breakfast. No, you lot say, no, I can't do that. And then when I say I have it with rice, they go, I can't have rice with breakfast. But you can. Your body is, doesn't give a shit what you eat for breakfast, as long as it's good and healthy. So, now we've got to, like, westernise you. We've got to, like, say, what can I have? So, you can have granola, not muesli, granola. It's in the supermarkets. We don't have no breakfast with wheat in, at all. Cooks all your breakfast out because there's nothing you can buy from the supermarket in the breakfast aisle. Only granolas there. Oaty bits are there. Now, I'm going to say something which I don't like to say, Norm, but you can have milk, skim milk, because I know you're not going to drop it out. A lot of people, a lot of bodybuilders, they'll have uh, porridge. Just plain oat porridge. So you can get it in tubs now with a bit of sugar and a bit of flavouring, which is fine if you want to lose some weight. It's a start. So you can always get flavoured porridge mixes. Now you won't have it with water like a bodybuilder will. Wood, will. Uh, so have it with some skim milk. 
I'm trying to get you off the old milk, which I know you drink far too much of. So cut it down as we lose some fat in your diet. Or you can have scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, you know, with a bit of rice, with a bit of with a salad, whatever. It doesn't matter. She's going there. Yeah. That's a fucking one in that. What do you have for Cottage cheese, shake. or protein shake, you know, but she's gone down the aisle, she's gone down, you've got down slowly, so, I mean, if you're going to go for bread, uh, there's only one bread, I keep saying, you got to get healthy, like a soya, linseed bread, um, it's a brown bread, it, it lasts longer, but, the thing is with bread, it's got wheat in it and it rots real quick. So you leave a piece of bread out for a couple of hours, a day or two, it starts to go stale and mouldy. Soy and linseed bread doesn't do that. You can still eat it in a fucking week's time, it'll still be, still be fine. As long as you leave it in the fridge, you know. Because uh, it's got no wheat in it. That's the reason they make fucking bread with wheat. What? What? Well, they took the wheat out, put more soya, soya in, more linseed in. That's why they call it soya and linseed bread. See, all these companies like Warburton's, they like to use wheat. Because wheat goes off real quick. So you need a loaf a day. Have you noticed that, people? Yeah? Okay, there, that's, that's, how to, that's how to get you spending your money. Make it last the day in your fucking bread bin. You have to go and buy a fresh one tomorrow. Is that when you fry bread it goes off stale quick. Yeah, how long does uh, so, uh, soy and linseed bread last? A while? About a week. It's funny that, isn't it? It's funny that. I wonder why, they, wonder why bread companies don't. Anyway, we're waffling here. You've got to sort your first meal of the day out. You know, it's the start. And your reason why you have a breakfast is because you've just woke up. Your body is now empty of nutrition and it needs a kickstart and it kickstarts the engine. You know, put some food in the belly and it starts your metabolic rate going. It starts warming your body up. And then you've got to keep it warm with small and often meals through the day. That's the simple way you've got to keep your body furnished with good quality food. Anyway, I've waffled on. Fucking 11 minutes. Back with you. I'm going to have some more shite. I've got to do some Twittering now. Some fucking Instagramming. I've done the YouTube. The YouTubes are up. If you don't know they're up, they're up. As well, I appreciate I'll just bring some more in here, the equation. This morning's filming. Done by yours truly. I apologise, but I've got the kids. Well, look at these two here. I'm stopping camera. I just I was asking these two who dragged who out. Cut, it, pubs are open. Mad Santa. Bad Santa. Watching TV. We're going for it now. We had ours before we come. I had uh, chicken and rice. So you, you, you dragged him out away from TV. Yeah. Out of bed. Out of bed. <laughs> Fucking out of bed. <laughs> There's boiled eggs. There you go. Boiled eggs for breakfast. This lad. We're talking about food. What does he have for breakfast? Boiled eggs. <laughs> boiled eggs. What do you have? Nothing. Why not? Porridge and eggs. Bit of skim milk or water in your porridge? Skim milk, can you do it with water? It's a bit hard, a bit hard isn't it? On that. It's a bit hard core that one. It's a bit hard core that one. He's, a bit, he's gone a bit shy in front of the camera. Right, that uh, short conversation I had to break out of has lasted till 30, 30, we lasted it, 30 minutes. He's old school, he's old like me, so we've been reminiscing and waffling out about the old gyms. 
so we'd like to be filmed so doing, a, doing some deadlifting of squats. The conversation went on for, a, for 30 minutes though. Uh, but anyway, nice to chat, innit? Better than watching fucking TV. Getting pissed up with your mates. Ordering a fucking takeaway. You know what you do. We're all there thinking, well, what should I do now? What's on today? I don't even know what's on telly. Coronation Street. You still got Coronation Street, Emmerdale. What's the other one? EastEnders, EastEnders. Yeah. You fucking finished. You've done. Fucking 40 minutes, you've given up. You can do this for hours, me. You can't do too much, so it's bad for me, me old knees. You know, the sun's out, it's nice. Got, a, got an Asian lady doing, got doing some, some twists. That sweeping up exercise, I don't know what it is. Never done in my life. It must be good. Must be out of this new, uh, the, the new, because uh, when we were growing up, it used to be Encyclopedia of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Now it's some fucking American fuck knows what, Encyclopedia of fucked up exercises. I don't know, what are you asking me for? That's good. It's, uh, it's for your sides, your intercostals and obliques, but they do it wrong. Old school exercises work best. Because all these modern ones now, they're just... They're made by personal trainers. And the, and the reason why personal trainers do these exercises is because they take fucking years for them to develop your body. Because it's a long, drawn out process of getting you from A to B. Do you know why they want to draw, draw it out long to A to B? Because you're paying money. When go to old fashioned bodybuilding routines are the best way to do it. Because they're the most painful. And with pain, you make gains. So every time you walk out of the gym without a sweat, and then the day after you wake, you wake up without any pain, you've wasted a day at the gym. My legs are still aching from Thursday. My chest is still sore from Friday. There you go. And if I don't feel that pain, I ain't done no fucking workout. Thank God. Easy fucked up modern exercises do not beat old school balls to the fucking floor. That's what balls to the floor is, squats. Well, there's no exercise going to beat squats on legs. If you do them right, I'm waffling again. Because it's Easter Sunday. And Andy's what? Because he's fucking bored. So, probably by later on, I'll probably be on my bike watching fucking some TV programme. Pardon? She wants to see what's number one of the cartoons. Something on Channel 5, something about cartoons, best cartoons in the world. You know, animated cartoons. I'm waffling again, I'm by, I'm going. I'm fucking had enough. Paddy. Paddy's not been well. One of his friends uh, passed away. Uh, it's funny, he was in the gym this morning. Paddy, weren't you, son? Yes, Andy. Say yes, Andy. You was in the gym. You was in the gym, right. Good lad. Won't be there tomorrow though, will you? Text me be there tomorrow. She said that brings your nips out because it's pretty fucking cool that wind. You've got a cold wind and Sue's nips are sticking out. So I might show you that in a minute, lads. So I'll keep viewing. Um right, we just I've just been told we're doing heavy legs in the morning with Sue. So we'll be here, nine o'clock again. Yo, we'll be back in the morning, nine o'clock. Uh, we're supposed to be having another woman train. Yeah, Have you told her? Yeah. What's this another one called? I don't know. Well, that's fucking good. There you go, lads. The hand nips are sticking out. She's doing it. Seven feet. Right. Up the slabs of a turnkey, I suppose. Well, yeah. There it goes. Well, you turn engine on, it gets you away. Uh, so, there might be three women in the morning. 
Until uh, you get the the ten we know done first. Yeah, can't go. make it. You can't make it any harder than it is. You've got to go harder this time for a line. No, no, no. She can't do the ten. She can't do the ten. She's only ever done five. You can feel them. Where, Rob? Thank you, Dal. Who are you laughing at? Looking clever as blokes, you know. Anyway, I'm tired. Of it. 